Welcome to my channel. This is my third requested reaction and this one is really really interesting. Um, I'm just going to read you what what the requester wrote. My husband and I wrote and recorded this for Vietnam veterans. Thank you and welcome home. Forgotten soldier, a welcome to Vietnam veterans. Home you all deserved a welcome, I guess it's a welcome home to Vietnam veterans that you all deserved and never got. It has been played by thousands of you all. God bless you. And then she also wrote, or, or he also wrote, a note in the uh, comment section. We didn't write this for fame or money. We love you all and wanted to say thank you with our music. Contact Linda Lewis. I think it's Linda and Greg Lewis, if I'm not mistaken. Um, before we get into the video, I do want to talk to you briefly. I know a lot of my viewers will know this about me, but I want to make sure that anyone who watches this video understands. I am a Vietnam era veteran, and the reason why I use the distinction of era is because I didn't serve in Vietnam. I served on the East Coast of the United States. I did secret work for six years. And for a long time, uh, I didn't felt like I was worthy of being called a veteran. Um, part of that was because of the way that, that Vietnam veterans were treated. And part of it was because I felt that those who had actually gone to Vietnam had sacrificed a great deal more than I had. In fact, I have a cousin who was killed in Vietnam. He was uh, very, we, he and I were very close and we prayed a lot together. And uh, he was, he was killed by that, I want to say wonderful, but it's not wonderful. The gruesome, uh, What's the word? Oh gosh. Euphemism. He was killed by that gruesome military euphemism, friendly fire. In other words, he was killed by American troops. Not before he won some commendations, by the way. He was brave when he fought. But that his death changed my life. I, I went to his funeral three or four days before I entered the Navy. And it affected me deeply. And uh, I've always had a special place in my, hearts, my heart for all Vietnam veterans, but especially for those who actually served in Vietnam. And some of you will also know that I am a founding member of Vietnam Veterans for Factual truth, factual history. You can find that on the web if you're interested. We try to correct the record and get people to understand what v Vietnam was really about and not what you've been told all these years because 90% of what you know or more of what you know about Vietnam is a lie. So I just wanted to make sure everyone understood I am proud of my service. There's no question about that. But I did not serve in the war. I didn't fight. I wasn't in combat. I fought in a different way. I fought doing secret work. So anyway, with that out of the way, uh, I do want to thank you for coming and for watching. And especially for watching this video because... Anytime someone honors Vietnam veterans, I deeply appreciate it. I really do. And so thank you, Greg and Linda. So without further ado, let's get to the song. This is called Forgotten Soldier, written by Linda and Greg Lewis. This song is dedicated to all the brave men and women who served in Vietnam and to their families. 
A hero's welcome you all deserved and never got. special and I really do appreciate you writing the song and singing it and making it available 
on the internet so that people can hear it. The, uh, the result of the Vietnam War was the acceleration of the fall of the United States into a communist dictatorship. And that's where we're headed now. And I don't know if God can save our country or not. I don't even know if our country is worth saving anymore. But enough about that. I pray that wherever you live, in whatever circumstances you live in, that you will have peace in your life and that God will protect you just as he does me. Although I worry a great deal about my country, I don't worry about myself because I know that God will keep me safe no matter what happens. I just wish America could be saved. And I just don't know if it can. I pray for the same thing for everyone that you love. This is the Vietnam Mirror Vet out.